Open question, but as someone that hasn't read a book outside of studying in legit 10 years, what do you recommend to start reading? I'm 20. Dude, the problem with books... Look, I... I I don't know if this is controversial or not, but I don't think it's ever a waste of time to read books. It really does depend on the books, to be fair, but usually reading in itself is very good, okay? When I was young, I read a shit ton. Like, I'm not even joking, like a ton. And that really helped me, like, with my general fucking vocabulary and, like, my, my understanding of the English language and shit like that. And now that I haven't been reading as much... I've felt that kind of regress, you know? So reading is good, 100%. Even if you're reading, like, literal um, porn books, like Fifty Shades of Grey and shit like that, like things that, like, grandmas get off to, I even think that's healthy, you know? Um, so don't be afraid to read fantasy shit. I fall into that trap where it's like, I want everything I read to be a meaningful work, you know? Like something that people write essays about or whatever. Like, I have a full... Um, I have a tiny little bookshelf here and all of the, the stuff in there is like either researching for Hong Kong uh, videos or basically like classic literature. And it's hard to read classic literature um, when you have a fucking phone, like a smartphone. And I was the best at reading when I didn't have a phone. Now I have a phone and I very much don't have the attention span. Like the phone definitely fucked my attention span up. Not Not that it was great before, but the phone affects that for sure. Um, but one book, if you're, if you're 20 years old and you're just looking for something solid to read, I will say some books that I liked that aren't super deep. Like they're not, they're still solid experiences. I'm not saying they're like dumb at all, but they're more, um, casually enjoyable. Um, Pillars of the Earth. This book is really good. Really shockingly way better than I expected. A random woman when I was working a job as um, on a tennis court. I was like the, the groundskeeper at a tennis court. Random woman who was like watching her fucking husband compete or some shit. She recommended um, this book to me. And uh, when people recommend books to me, like genuinely recommend them, like not just like a, a YouTuber recommending it to anybody... But when people one-on-one -on -one tell me, like, yeah, you should read this book, I almost always do. Uh, and I feel like that is unusual, but it is because when I, when I used to read books when I was younger, I never had somebody to talk uh, about them with, you know? Because to talk to somebody about a book requires that they spend hours upon hours reading, which no one has time for, except for me when I was young, right? So when somebody has already read the book and they give you the recommendation, um, if you come back to them and are like, yo, that was a great book, that was a good recommendation, or even if you come back to them and you're like, yeah, it wasn't really my thing, but you know, whatever, first of all, they're going to be like, wow, he actually read it, you know? Like, my words didn't fall on deaf ears, which is rare, believe it or not. But also, um, you can now literally discuss it, <laughs> which is fun, you know? Like, discussing books is fun because... It's not quite like a movie. There's so much in most books, you know, like there's because you're literally it's like almost unfiltered thoughts usually from characters and shit like that. And there's in this book specifically, there's multiple characters you follow and some of them are just straight up fucking crackheads, like straight up unpredictable as fuck. So it's like very interesting, you know. Um, but yeah, that's if there's a piece of advice I can give if someone recommends you a book and it actually looks like an interesting book, like you trust them, you know. Um, and you have the time, then I would go for it. I would try to give it a read. And I know that's fucking difficult, but, um, they will, they will appreciate it, you know? Not that it's like you're doing them a favor or anything, but they'll just take note. And that's probably a good way to cement the friendship, you know? But, okay, Pillars of the Earth was solid. And I hate books set in this time period. Sorry, I hate, I hate media set in this time period. Like, I don't even like movies that are set in this, like, what is it, um... Let's go to Wikipedia. I forget exactly, but I think it's like the 1100s. Like 1100s Britain. Set in, yes. Yeah, so it's set in like the year 1000 or whatever. So it's like, basically the focus is kind of on like building a church. 
which is like the pillar of the earth or whatever. But it's so much fucking more than that. Like uh, it has everything. Fuck. It has the action. It's got the feels. It's got the sex. It's got like little slight little Game of Thrones. But it's like more. First of all, it has an ending, and second of all, more um, wholesome maybe a bit than Game of Thrones. But yeah, solid book. Um, what's another book? There's like a couple books I could recommend you where it's like, ah, uh, I don't know, like, it's a bit artsy fartsy. Whereas this is just like a solid, I would recommend this to anybody type of experience. Like, if you read this, you will not be unsatisfied, is my opinion. That's basically it. Maybe I can find like a weird one, like a weird classical one just for people who want that shit. So, yeah, Station Eleven. Um, my, so, this is another book that I, it was a recommendation, basically. My math teacher, who I didn't like, to be honest, I actually didn't like her. I won't deny that she was a decent teacher, but I didn't like her, um, for other reasons. Like, she was just a mean. She was really mean. Um, which, again, I have a certain level of respect for that, because she was not a bad teacher, you know? She was just harsh. But yeah, she recommended this book randomly, and I'm like, what is a math teacher doing ra randomly recommending a book? So I was like, it must be decent if she's recommending it, right? Um, it's pretty good. Although I will say it's less wholesome, or it's, sorry, it's less um, satisfying than Pillars of the Earth. This book, though, it's an experience. It's like a very unique fucking narrative experience. Because it's really, it's, um, it's divided in really weird ways. And actually, it's funny because I ended up, it's funny how things kind of like compound with me, but, um, if I hadn't read this book, I wouldn't have created a little custom piece of content, actually, because I, when I was in high school, I created a short film, but it's not really that. It was more like a trailer. Like, it was supposed to be a one minute long trailer for the book, and it was a competition in my in my uh, local like city or whatever, but basically like this book it's about an apocalypse, but it also covers before the apocalypse, and it's both one thing. Ah, shit, I can't say that, but it's because it's a spoiler. But basically, both of the books I recommended, Pillars of the Earth and this, they take a super brave. They do a super brave move that that you wouldn't think books would do, you know, like that most media don't do like and you'll know exactly what it is when you see it but basically let's just say that they're not strangers to death those books and so and uh, what i will say is again pillars of the earth is much more feel good kind of whereas this one definitely feels there's much more of a feeling of angst there's much more of a um like i i finished this book and i felt a bit Uns not even unsatisfied but just a bit empty you know and not because the book's bad like I know that was kind of the point like it, by the end of it it's like it's like an apocalypse situation you know but um it, it wasn't as um yeah it wasn't as like storybook fantasy kind of ending it was uh, much more grounded in reality which I appreciated but yeah it definitely left like a a uh, fucking an impact um here okay we're now aware that the virus has reached the Greater Toronto area. Local hospitals have already admitted beyond capacity. And it is advised that citizens stay indoors and away from people who have come in close contact with the ill. <coughs> this Georgia flu has ravaged the populace of Russia in recent hours, and it seems... <coughs> That was uh, based on this fucking book, which it's basically just like, it's very loosely based. I kind of shystered a bit in the competition or whatever, but um, 
It's basically loosely based on a part where like one of the main characters, the apocalypse starts and he's just um, holed up in his fucking apartment for like forever. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was uh, probably 17 when I did that, so I definitely could have done it better, but eh, it was kind of cute. Figured, fuck it, if you're sticking around at this point, you're interested in a little bit of lore. Old Man in the Sea is good, but it's also super depressing for me. That's a book that, um, I feel that shit, but it's not uplifting. People, I, you always think that Old Man in the Sea is supposed to be really motivational. It's not. It is not. The, 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 like, realistically, the thesis of the book is the old man gets defeated by the sea. Not in a real, I mean, he's defeated by the sea, not his, like, he basically, it's like poised as the old man versus the marlin, which is like the fish he's trying to catch, but he, the old man, he forgets that the sea is the real enemy, basically, and there's many beautiful metaphors you can make for that, for sure, but, um, yeah, it's definitely, like, a bit of a black pill type of um, storyline. I can understand why Ernest Hemingway shot himself in the head. No, <laughs> I'm sure it was unrelated, but um, I can understand why that's like a, a real classic. Like, there's some classics I'll read and I don't really fully get it. Um, like, I'm just like, why is this so influential? That's one that I get. Yeah. Whew. Sorry, <laughs> I just spoiled it. No, um,. To be fair, that's not a full-on spoiler. I actually made it sound worse than it is because I'm a depressing guy, but um, it's still worth reading, and it's not its not a lot of work. Like It's not Moby Dick, which is where it's like 400 pages. It's The Old Man in the Sea is like 80 pages or something, and you can literally read it in like a day or two. Yeah. Resignation to life isn't depressing, though, is it? Honestly, anything can be interpreted as depressing. It really just depends on your perspective. You can expect more of this hopefully in the future. If all goes planned, another stream next Friday with my brother Alex. Oh, baby. Oh.